Welcome back to another episode of the Steebie Weeby Show. We have a very special guest tonight. Please welcome for the first time on the podcast, musician, Koreatown oddity. All right, all What's right. What's up, bro? Thanks for coming, man. Uh, you could actually play. I thought she was going to play some old bullshit. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I just made it up. I just. No, but yeah. you could play, though. Yeah, no, I okay. do, I do. I don't know. Uh, I don't, I can't read music. I just kind of improvise and just, you yeah, know, yeah. whatever sounds good no, to that's me. No, that's yeah. some of the best way. Yeah, yeah thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Um, you know, I was, it's it's an honor to have you. Um, oh, thank you. Thank I, uh, you. I was hip to you by, uh, shout out to Gino. Shout out to Gino, uh, man. Gino by, I was looking at his post because he kept promoting your, your your newest album yeah, yeah. and um my homie mestizo uh, personally texted me he goes check this kid out check this kid out and then oh, whatever, that's dope that's because i respect those two and i'm like oh okay and then your name firstly i want to your name stood out to me firstly i'm like oh i thought it was some uh, like some another korean cat like right, right. i was gonna hit up right. dumbfounded and year of the right. ass and next is <laughs> right. like the korean town <laughs> homies to let right let, i wanted to find out information like who Cause when I, cause I didn't see you at first, but when I saw the name, I'm like, I already had a vision in my head. I like, I pictured this, yeah, yeah. you know, this Korean kid with glasses, like a Cho right. Sung Wee looking yeah, character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then when I saw you, it was that much cooler to me. I'm like, oh, he's not even Korean. He's right, right, he's a black dude, right. and he's he's on Stone's Throw. Right, yeah, it made it it like raised. That's kind of the coolness bar for me. That's one of the, uh, I think things about that name. Like even when I was like. Oh, okay. This is the name. Like I had said that in a verse one time. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's the Korea Town Odyssey, and I said that in a verse one time. I don't remember what my name was at that time, but I was like, I was like, oh, that's it, because that says everything. Right. And right. there's there's no there's gonna be no one else that's ever gonna be that. Be that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, um, and and it does make people think like, okay, uh, this guy might be Korean. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And but, then and then not only that, like you have the kimchi song. Right. Yeah, yeah. So right. I'm thinking because exactly. I was like. Before right. I even looked you up, I was like, like Googling. I'm like, oh, kimchi. Oh, he's right. definitely Korean. Right. And then, <laughs> but then when I like looked into it, I, right. And then I'm like, oh, oh yeah, that's cooler. Right. <laughs> and then it just it like, it like, like advanced my interest. I'm like, oh, yeah, man, I gotta find out more. It's crazy. Yeah. It's funny about that song in particular. My pops, he, uh, you know, he's super deep, man. He's like. And you know, maybe subconsciously when I d- did that song, yeah. But uh, he was like looking up what are the actual flavors of you know kimchi oh, and I love it. yeah and I love it. and when you listen to the song he's like the the different flavors from sour to uh, bitter and sweet that oh, are yeah. in there yeah, is yeah. kind of like what you talk about in the verses that's dope that's you know dope. what i'm saying yeah. i was like oh yeah that's crazy i didn't yeah. even, that's not even part i was thinking Wait, about ops knew that yeah, yeah, he. I mean, like he all well, he he's always a fan of kimchi. Dude. I mean, I don't he know if he's a fan, but he, but he looks into it. Yeah, you know right, what I'm saying. Right, like right, anything, right, right, anything, right. you know, he's always looking into shit. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, you enjoy the food. I mean, how do you not like the food there in K Town? You know what I'm saying. So I mean, I spots. honestly, I don't eat meat no more. Oh, that's fine. I, probably yeah, for about yeah. like ten years. Okay. But like, uh, but vegetable barley bean bean bop. I yeah, miss, yeah, I mentioned bop, that bean bean bop. Yeah, I mentioned that on the album too. Um. And you know ramen, of course. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. And you know, I like other that. You know, bibimbap. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. That's, for sure. that's yeah. The, that's so good. Yeah. I, love it. <laughs> I want to get into your uh, just your story. Like, where are you originally? Were you raised in L.A.? Uh, yeah, I'm from L.A. Born you're and from raised. Koreatown. So you're actually from K Town. Yeah. See, that's that's another thing about the name so too. That, it's like people think Koreatown Odyssey means because I live there. Which I do right now. Right, 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 but, right. You're um, from there. So no matter where I live, I'm always gonna be Koreatown Odyssey. Cause you, you was born there. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm born in '84. So yeah, yeah, the yeah. The times that I lived 
there. Mm-hmm. I seen the shit. You know, so you're around during the, the history, riots and all that. All that shit. So you saw the riots going down in I 92? Live, I lived two blocks from California Mart. When they would have oh, I know, but uh, yeah, I like that spot. Yeah, yeah, when yeah, it, yeah. And it, it was like you know, it looks different now. Yeah, but yeah, it yeah. It was like we had the big mm-hmm. California Mart thing on there, and um, yeah, like I mean, we were out looting. Me and yeah. my mom, we <laughs> oh, were, right, right. You right. know what I'm saying? And, so you uh, saw them Korean Koreans yeah. with AKs? Yeah, you no, saw... I, I mentioned that on the album too. Like, yeah, I mm-hmm. I seen that. Like, you saw at, that? You know, I'm riding around my mom's. I'm maybe like eight years old. And, yeah, um, yeah. You know, I look out the window and I see that we're going back to the house and then we go in the house and we see That's them on TV. Crazy. Yeah, and then yeah. they had the, um, you know, they have a Ralph's on uh, Western and. Oh, I've been there that one. Yeah, but it used to be on a little bit further. That's kind of by the, is it by the Will Turner? Yeah, 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 it's yeah, right yeah, there. yeah. It's right there on the but side. It, but it used to be a little bit further up. Okay. And that one got trashed by the rise. You know, I definitely right. got some shit from there. Um, God, that <laughs> but, crazy time. There's, you know no, what? Crazy, I saw man. a documentary on Netflix, '92. You see yeah, that? Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, dude, that was pretty, nah, pretty and then crazy they show, to watch. It's crazy because uh, the spot, um, there's one spot that they showed us being loot in that documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like uh, it got bombed on recently, like crazy mad graffiti, and then yeah. they just buffed over it. So I don't know exactly what they're gonna do with it, but it's like shut down over there. Yeah, yeah. So, but there's a, you know, it's a lot of history in there. Yeah, you know yeah, saying? for sure. And, I love uh, the fact that you were born and raised in Cape Town. Yeah, man. Doc. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Props to no, that. No respect, that, bro. <laughs> I love that story. You know, you it's know? A, it, it was, I love it's, it. It's different coming from that time moving up to now because well, the changes you see what's going on you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah 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 so how did you like growing up in koreatown like how did you even get into music and uh and my, all that my mom's actually is the first person to put me on the hip-hop she was um down with a uh, syndicate and uh grandmaster kaz like mm-hmm. uh, grandmaster kaz was coming to our house all the time really yeah oh that's and, og that's and an it's OG. like she used to be uh taking me out to whenever she go to donald d's house and uh, oh i remember and, donald d yeah donald d part of yeah, the syndicate yeah yeah and uh my mom sold jewelry and major is that rhyme rappers. syndicate is rhyme that the one syndicate, yep. oh, so everlast was down with that wasn't yep, he yep i never met everlast but yeah, yeah he was definitely down. but people don't know i remember um Cause I got hip to, cause I was more like I was born in San Diego, you know. Uh-huh. Raised San- yeah. So my first kind of like exposure was like Yo MTV raps. Right, right. I remember seeing right. um, hieroglyphics for the first time, wow. like Dell. Wow, yeah. Um, yeah. the sleeping on my couch yep, video, yep. and I'm like, oh, okay, that's I like that. Right, you like this. Shit Beastie crazy. Boys, right. Cypress Hill. Right, right. Yeah. Nah, yeah, it's but, crazy. Cause but it- Everlast had a solo album before House of Pain, and it was his. You know, I'm like, yeah, he had nah, boxing gloves I, I think on. He, I want to say he was like the only white dude in the crew. He was the only yeah. white dude, yeah. and I'm like, oh, who's this guy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. But um, so yeah, the, Donald D. Man, you're history. bringing it back. No, nah, because uh, so it's like uh, you know, I was just listening to my mom's tapes, and you know, Chub Rock and Queen Latifah. Oh, I love Chub and Rock. MC Trouble. Yep, yeah, yeah. Pete Mix-a-Lot, Rock, Pete Rock, all, all, you, Smooth. You know, yeah. I was listening to all those tapes she had, so she's kind of the one to put me on, and and then Ice T and Ice yeah. Cube. And you remember Divine Styler? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that dude was he was ahead of his time. Yeah, I yeah. Feel, it's funny. I feel like there was some me and my man was talking about him not that long ago. Yeah, some, yeah. Uh, some wild shit he's he's doing, some musically wild shit, you know. But back then I remember buying his tape. Uh it was like a blue cover. It yeah. was like really kind of it yeah. was tripped out and oh, stuff. Yeah, he's he's yeah. always been on some shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Divine Styler and then Jungle Brothers, obviously. Jungle, right, right. So um so you, you you like took influence from that 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 time period. Yeah, I mean, that's it a was huge... just honestly, it was just like whatever my mom was around. I mm-hmm, in the, mm-hmm. um, K Town, they had a spot called I think it was called the Red Onion, mm-hmm. and it was like a like a hip hop kind of restaurant mm-hmm, type of spot. Mm-hmm. I was going there all the time. Yeah, like, yeah. It was like right on Wilshire, like um, and so uh, and going to the Rhodium, which is a mm-hmm. place where they sell like all kind of vintage stuff mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. have like a swap meet. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, so she would set up booths there, and yeah, she had all this uh, the so, black Bart Simpson T shirts. Yeah, and all those. so she was into the culture. She was a part of the culture for sure. For sure, Zulu yeah, Nation. Yeah. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah. So did you um and then what other groups were you interested in after like outside of Rhyme Syndicate and oh, all yeah. that? Oh yeah, okay. So obviously I, that was my more mm-hmm. my mom's mm-hmm. era what I grew up on her shit and then uh, of course you know there's the Far Side and I mean um, the, look at the shirt in the corner. Oh you know? yeah, yeah, no yeah, doubt. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, um, I got a story about them in San Diego. Um, like I said, I'm from you know. 
inland, like suburban, you know, uh, Poway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like not really L.A. You right, know? right. And so, but there was a the club in Escondido called the Distillery, and my homie had his Suzuki Samurai. You remember those Suzuki Samurai? Yeah, yeah, the white Yeah, yeah the, the yeah. little, the little box, yeah. little mini cheap the, Jeep. The, the one that had yeah, the big that, wheel thing. Yeah, on the back. like little Jeep cars. Yeah, yeah. Stick shift. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, there's, there's this group. Do you want to go out? And I think it was a Sunday night. It was, and I'm like, uh, far side. Okay, I'll go. And the distillery was a small like discotheque. It was like during house dancing yeah, and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. And so it, I remember firstly seeing their stickers. It was that shirt. It was yep. the fire hydrant the fire and the dog. <laughs> I'm like, what? What is this? No, nah, exactly. And then I'm telling you, it was one of the best concerts I've ever seen. It was a small ass janky club, but these dudes like perform their asses nah, they off. Are so dope. Performance. really good right. so i'm like yeah. okay i uh, and then i was hooked after that and i couldn't stop thinking about that performance yeah yeah then i bought the sh you know i bought everything yeah exactly yeah, yeah man a uh, shout out to fat lip he yeah yeah shout out to fat lip he's on the album too yeah shout out to fat lip he um, actually just um he's on a, a skit called black google so yeah. he doesn't even rap on it he just he's just hilarious on the skit well, that that's um, I look I look up to those dudes. Trey, oh, yeah. Romani, Trey, all them. Yeah. Romani, Imani, even Imani. Yeah. I look up to all them. Yeah, yeah, for um, sure. Even their videos, I remember I was really influenced because they had like fresh jive gear. Yep. I'm like, oh, what do they wear? Mm -hmm. You remember your mama, the, the yeah. your mama yeah, video? Yeah, I'm yeah. like, okay, yeah, what's these up, dudes. Bro shot? Yeah. Oh, and then the second Far Side story is okay. Before they dropped their first album, they were on a, a compilation called uh, Brand New Heavies. Oh yeah, the uh, da, 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 Soul Flower. Yeah, da, da, yeah, yeah. Da, da, da. They had the right, very right, last right. song. Right, yeah. right, right, right. And I'm like, what the farmer man? They stole right. that. They stole. Of course. I mean, there was Large Professor was of on it, and but it's like they were like, whoa, you know. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, okay, <laughs> these dudes, because they had a live band. Right. Yeah, yeah, they had a live yeah, band, yeah, and I'm like, yeah. okay, yeah. I think Trey is super dope too. Like I think those dudes like really um you know, I look up to I look up to all LA, you know, based like the alcoholics word, and, word, and all them word. and uh, freestyle fellowship and word. all that stuff, but far, far side's definitely in right, there for me. Right. Definitely. For sure. And then I'd, also this um came up on uh Cool Keith as well. Oh yeah, shout you out know. to Cool Keith. Yeah, when, yeah uh, Ultra Magnetic. When I was yeah. in high school, me and my man um, Josh we used to go on Marrow's all the time. Yeah, because you know I went to Fairfax. So yeah, like, yeah, I wanted to talk about right. that. So, so you're around like um, Sporty LA and yep, yep, and uh, then uh, all that shit. What Every, was the was graffiti like, shop called? Uh, uh, Workman. Workman. They had Workman's. breaking videos. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out my man uh, Jay Swift. Yeah. Uh, they uh, had all kind of record stores, Penny Lane, Beat Nonstop. Um, just uh, it was just cracking a, a, yeah. a dope time to like yeah. be going to school and then after school just yeah, walking you're down Merrill because everybody was on Merrill's at the time. And then you basketball saw players, and then you saw Wu Tang stickers everywhere. Up, Rappers, yeah, yeah, yeah. basketball players, actors, models, everything. Uh, TV was show hosts. So we go down there every day and we're just seeing everybody. Yeah, Merrill's and, ain't really popping like that no more. Nah, you know it? what though? What I feel happened? I feel like it's it's like on research. It's, it's kind of coming. I'm like keeping it out i feel like it's kind of yeah, like they're trying yeah, to like yeah. take it back but um yeah man like cool keith used to be on there all the time yeah that and dude's you know really, he had a couple like that dude's you know, funky as hell no nah, we used to yeah he had an apartment like um you know i guess apartment i was filled with shoes and clothes mm -hmm. and then another apartment like that was still in the same area so we used to see him all the time walking around yeah i remember and, sex styles remember his album sex of course styles? of course <laughs> but of i course. remember seeing the cover like what the hell? Is he yeah, a, what the yeah. Hell is I think the on? first one I heard was um, Doctor Octagon and Doctor Doom. Yeah, Those were the first yeah, ones that yeah. like, you know, I heard, and we were just like, "Yo, what the fuck?" But and ultra then, magnetic too. I mean, but yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But like, you know, we're like. 13, but then 14. he went on. It's kind of like MF Doom. You know, every, he was with KMD. Right. And then he went out and did his own thing for sure. with Doom. For sure. Yeah. I mean, obviously that was like I, I feel like. For Doom, that wasn't really planned. You know, I yeah. feel like he wasn't. I don't know if he would have went solo. You know, what Man, I'm saying. I, I think love that KMD shit. I love. Oh that yeah, shit. that shit's hard. I love that shit. That shit's love hard. That shit. Yeah, I, I love the fact that you pay homage to the OGs, man. For cause, sure. Because a lot of these. I don't know what's going on with these modern rap, like, you know, these trap rappers yeah. or, but you know, what's crazy, but, but you know, I like the fact that, you know, your stuff. No, nah, you know, what's crazy, though. People think that, like, uh, a lot of probably like trap rappers and shit like that don't know yeah. about the history, but they do. Oh, they, they do. Studying. Oh, they yeah. do. They because do. Like, okay, okay. I mean, like, honestly, they got way more 
of a benefit than like when I was coming up because they, uh, there's YouTube. So they so can they just can go on a YouTube up. binge oh, right, of whatever right. artists that they don't know about. Yeah, because all be the OGs them th- are on there. Yeah, like their videos yeah. and their MP3s. And you hear them throwing lines in there saying stuff about artists. Like, I'm going to do this like such and such. Or mm-hmm. like, and, you know, referencing people. And yeah. You know they know. You know, yeah, like, they know, they you know, know fucking Migos listens to Wu-Tang. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, right, right, right. Of course right, right, they know right, who that is. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and somebody, and they have big homies that probably put them on like, put yo, you got to check this shit yeah. out. I if, think it's important, man. You know what sure. I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's how you know, like, once you, when you know more about the past, that's how you're able to create something new. And once you accept that there's really, like, not too much that's new, that's when you could freely create. Right, right. You know what I mean? I like that you said that. Yeah, that's there, there's a lot of truth to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, nah, yeah. for sure. Um, when did you decide, like, because I could tell you're a fan, but when did you get your first piece of equipment and want to create your own music? Uh, let's see. So first, um, my man was making beats. We used to make tapes in high school. Mm-hmm. I, said, I only just rapped. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he, we would record through the phone. He play some beats over the phone mm-hmm. and I'll just rap into the phone piece. I was one of them dudes that always had like a cassette player yeah, at me the too. house and record. I, I went through that process Yeah, recording too. prank calls uh, and Radio shit like Shack, that. I bought like a little, exactly. t- yeah. I had yeah. like a little karaoke kind of recording mm-hmm. setup. So we would, we, we, I did that too. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So we would like prank calls. This is call. before four tracks and eight right. tracks. I'm like, well, what could we do now? Yeah, it was just like, I didn't even like, really know. like, I know what we need, but what could we do now? Right. We need to do something now. Right. So, yeah. you know, we, we started doing that first. Um, and just making tapes, you know, I've been making tapes probably since like uh, junior high and high school. And then like when I think I got my first like MPC, first I started learning on a few homies, maybe up 21, 22. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a couple homies I knew had an MPC and they let yeah. me work on their shit. And then um, when I was able to get my, I think I got my first MPC, maybe like 2007, yeah. 2008. Yeah, and that's, um, that's the machine. Yeah, so once yeah. I learned, I was going to the homie's house making beats, and they're like, all right. Yeah. Describe to the viewers who don't know and listeners if they don't oh, know what the MPC is. Describe, MPC yeah. is like a, a, a beat-making production machine. Sampler. You can sample mm-hmm, on it. Mm-hmm. and um, There's 16, you know, 16, 16 pads, pads mm-hmm. and you can pretty much chop samples and arrange things how you want to. I mean, honestly, you don't even have to, you don't have to sample either. You could play your own instrument into it. People use it all kind of ways. Trigger stuff. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. But it's a, it's a classic machine, you know, in hip hop that's used to make beats. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. um, I like that. You, that was what you got hip to at first. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, honestly, it I was just that. like, I love that. It's just like whatever, um, you know, you were exposed my, my hom- to. Yeah, my homie, yeah. I seen when he first got his MPC 2000. Oh, yeah, he um, 2000. Yeah, he had a, I got a I got a 1000. Okay, yeah. No, okay. the 2000 is the big one. Oh, the big one, okay. Right, so, and you know, so I, I was just already, like, programmed to, like, whenever I get my shit, I'm getting an MPC. You know Man, what I'm saying? Man, I, I remember I got an MPC 60 at Guitar Center back in the day. This is when I worked with Amoeba, you know, okay. with yeah. Davius and Yeah, yeah, Gino. yeah, yeah. I, I, and then I, I, I bought it, I brought it home. I sat there for hours and I didn't know how to import st- stuff. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, like, right, right. I could have just really done more research. Right. But I got so flustered and I regret this till this day. My homeboy Mascaria, he brought me and then I made him dr- drive me back yeah. and I had to return. I should have kept it. You returned Cause, it. Because, dude, oh, that's, you just... that's, that had a certain crunch to but it. But how long did you fuck with it until you gave I it? Get, I, I should have spent more time with it is what I'm telling what it, you. Yeah, it was I, like two days and I'm like, fuck. Oh, <laughs> you know, was like impatient as shit. It, I'm like, oh, <laughs> you know, I want my money back. Right. Yeah. No, yeah, it, it takes time. Because honestly, uh, when I saved and got mine, it was it cost a G. Yeah. See? And, um... But it's just like I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna just keep fucking with it until I should have kept on. No, nah, you. Man. That's oh, kind of how you got to do it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But maybe, maybe, maybe well, you I'm just glad, wasn't ready. But then later, I got the got the one I used, the 303. Worse. So yeah, at the yeah. time, you that's just, my like, baby. Sometimes it's just like uh, you know, the machine that fits for you. It really, that's perfect for me. It really don't even matter what you make your shit on. Some people like. I like that I remember, you said that too. I remember when my NPC got jacked and I had to get oh, another. Oh, you got one. it jacked? Yeah, it's like I left it in a car in a shady oh. <laughs> downtown. Oh, area they broke in the car they took the damn radio that. out they yeah had a turn it was crazy i'm so sorry that no happened. it that was it, done no it hurt it hurt and the next morning like i found out sean p died it was like yeah it was like yeah. a bad weekend you oh, know that's <laughs> bad but uh so um yeah like 
I, I was recording uh, after that just on tape, just doing making like a uh, pause tape. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Explain you, to the viewers what a pause tape pause is. Pause tape is basically like you're trying to make loops, but you're recording With tape decks, uh, a yeah. piece of a song and then pausing it and then bringing that part back and then press and record again. Mm-hmm. So then when you listen to it back, it sounds like a complete track. Most like, likely a drum know. beat, like a loop, yeah, or, like you a know, break anything, or something. Anything, yeah, anything, depending on how experimental yeah. you're trying to be. So how you have to be real precise with that, right? As far yeah. as pausing it, yeah. rewinding it, and then exactly. chewing it up again. Exactly. Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. and like how I would do it is like, if it was a little off, that made the beat more fly, you know? Yeah, Because like, yo, because yeah. then nobody it's can got, really like, a little copy off. the way you yeah, chop something yeah. if it's like off like that. So. You know, I'm glad that you brought that up because I think nowadays because of technology, it's so perfected, there's no... Right. That's why uh, with the way I make my beats is I don't even, I do it live. So I could be off a little bit. You know what I mean? Like I practice for like 10, 15 minutes before I record into the program. But I'm like, I'm like, okay, I'm going to assemble it this way. Okay, I'm ready right now. I think I have it, you know? Yeah, that's how you want your shit to sound a little bit. um, Organic. Unique. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You want your shit to, it's like, it got to be. Um, natural you don't want to be mm-hmm. trying to force being like mm-hmm. something else but like you know natural to how you think it sound good yeah some people yeah. may be like oh it might not work for them but if you like it when yeah. you know you like some shit i don't mind it if yeah. it's just a little off yeah. and i'm like oh well if you're just really looking for that you'll you, find you it. know when some shit is banging yeah it's like, yeah, it's yeah. no like you know it's a it's a true feeling if you're being honest with yourself i yeah, like to yeah. be i like to be super honest with myself i'd be like yo if i wasn't me would i fuck with this shit Right, and if right. it, if I can't honestly say that, then I'm gonna just keep this one for myself for no one to hear. <laughs> yeah, I got some or, you know what I'm like that too. Or, you feel me? Yeah, I got some. You're like, uh, it's yeah. cool, but like I'll maybe... put it on my Patreon for my Patreon. Right, <laughs> that's <laughs> private. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, your Patreon exclusive. for all the mistakes. Exclusive. This is all my mistakes. These shit. Are, no, these are just the B sides. Right, but, right. You, know, <laughs> or, you guys could hear it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So when did you start actually like recording? Ta- like trying to get your stuff out there. Uh, I think I might have put out my first thing on tape probably about like, maybe it was like 2009, 10. Okay. You know, it was like, okay, I was like, oh, I'm ready. You know, and I didn't, I wasn't on the internet really. Mm -hmm. I was just hand to hand. So I would see like, you know, whoever I fucked with, like I see J Rock, I'd be like, "Yo, J Rock, here's my tape." Yeah, All right, shout man, out to the peace. beat junkies. Oh yeah, yeah. I see Red Matic, like yo. Yeah, Red's like, oh, been on here. Red's been on yeah, here. I yeah, I see shoes. Like oh yo, I see yeah, Wolf. Yeah. You know, like if yeah. I see Med, I see rappers mm-hmm. and um, DJs that I. That I fucked with, I would just give him my shit. Do you remember a guy named Marvsky, DJ Marvsky? No, nah, I don't know DJ Marvsky. Huh. Not a lot of people talk about him, but I, when I first moved here uh, from Arizona, mm-hmm. I moved to Echo Park. There was a little mom and pop record store. He 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 was down with all them cats you said. Okay, but yeah, word, I don't word. think he gets a lot of shine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure they know. They yeah, they know, know who yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know who exactly. He is. If yeah. they know him, then he. Knows. But I just remember he was really knowledgeable. Like you know. Uh, Cause I I didn't have that much of a budget. He had a record store. Yeah, he had a little mom and pop. I remember I bought like Kwame, uh, yeah. Boy Genius, like <laughs> nice, uh, the nice. rhythm, like yeah. the twelve inch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I rebought that. I'm like, oh, yeah. buy. It's crazy. You know, Helter yeah. Skelter, yeah. La Fala, you know, like just for the instrumental. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I really like the beat. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. He gonna appreciate the shout yeah. out then. Yeah. So you would just you would network that way, the way you know people did it back then. You'd go to shows or. Yeah, I would honestly. I just keep some tapes on me. If I went out to like a show and I saw yo, that's my man right there. Yo, what's up? Mm-hmm. I d- you know I use the guru rule. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What's the you know, and, and, and just pre please, uh, uh, the guru on rule on uh, hard to earn? He says. You know what I'm saying? I never, you know, people, motherfuckers want to come up to me rapping and shit, you know, breath stinking like a motherfucker. All right, he goes just, yeah, and he was like, just he was like I never did that shit. They just want to get on. Some to motherfuckers on. just want to stand next to you. He's mm-hmm. like, I never did that shit when I want to get on. He's like, I saw somebody, you know, I gave him a compliment, and I said, uh, told him my name, gave him a pound, peace. Out. Yeah. That's pretty much what I would do. That was like, I remember that yeah. interlude, yeah. And I would just like, that's how I would get my taste. I'd be like, yo, you know, I see shoes. I'd be like, yo, shoes. And he'd be like, all right, word. And that's yeah, it. And I wouldn't be it. like, yo, I'm da 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 da. I was like, yeah. if he listens to it, cool. If he don't, you know, that's yeah. what's up. And, I, I think that, yeah, I, you know, th- 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 there's 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 that aspect to it. But but then again, because I did that too. Oh, I gave Dre one of my... Uh, Dr. Dre? Yeah, yeah, Dre. I was working in the... Um, where uh, I was a clerk, um, 
a cashier, but then I got promoted up to the warehouse. Wow. So my next job was I would take, uh, I was a jewel case switcher. So, you know, the old joints you would get, I would dust them off and put them into the new jewel cases, uh-huh. put them into new bins. Yeah. But up there, it's a whole different world. But then someone told me, oh, Dre is up here digging for records, literally right next to where I was working in the warehouse. Whoa. And so, like, I got the goosebumps. <laughs> no, that's a I moment. Just dro- I just dropped. Especially, like, back then? Yeah, I just yeah. dropped Um, I dropped one of uh, a thing called Dojo Dynamics. It was a CD. I pressed 200 copies, and then I just bought one off the, the floor, and then I just said, and I just gave it to him. And I, you know the same thing yeah. you said. I'm like, hey. What, he just gave you a head yeah, nod? Yeah, like, yeah. Just, and then, but then he goes, hey, hey, hold up. Is your contact... On here, and I go, yeah, my e-. well back then, right. my email. <laughs> you're like, yeah, you're like, yeah. Um. Never contacted. <laughs> right. me. It never contacted me back. But, right, right. <laughs> but, um, but I'm paranoid. I mean, I'm not saying it's right or like if someone bid or I'm not saying anyone yeah. took my idea. But yeah. I remember, like, l- literally after that, I back then I had this um four track or something on my um um this effect I used that can make my yeah. voice sound like. Hey, you know, like a, yeah. like a dip, like a like a deeper voice. Yeah, yeah. And I had that going on like between songs, yeah. I, and I noticed that Eminem on, like his first album, like yeah. his they yeah. started implementing that uh, yeah. voice. I'm like, oh man, to Dre. I, I'm right, not saying right, they no, did. of course you. Yeah, can, yeah, you, but I was like, never, right, I was right. driving myself crazy. Right, like, right. Because I know that I had that right. shit on mine. That's you just know that's I mean? just fucking hilarious. It's, yeah, to I don't think know if about. that's true. I'm not saying no. It, it it's is just or not. funny to think about him be like. Yo, I got this tape from this kid at Amoeba. And they yeah, listen to it, they're like... And call it back. And he's like, but, hell yeah. But he's like, maybe, listen to it. maybe, you know, I always wondered that. Like, nah, but hey, I, honestly, that. I mean... Because that's a specific thing, you know what I'm that's saying? That's what's crazy about, like, uh, being, like, somebody, like, especially during the 90s. Like, um, I'm sure they got inspired by a lot of people's demo tapes. Maybe they didn't bite. But yeah. I'm sure people got inspired by a lot of demo tapes that they got handed on I the I have streets, to admit, I was, I was highly... Um, um, Really inspired by the Far Side and Beastie Boys and Cypress Hill. For sure, and all them. I can see that. High, high, yeah. highly, highly, yeah. very, very. Yeah. And honestly, by them. like you know how I look at it is like unless somebody's doing like a direct bite, like people are calling you, like yo, this motherfucker. Like a line. Yeah. Like, if hey. somebody, yeah, if somebody's doing a direct bite of what you do. Other than that, if it's like something that you like, oh, it sounds like that's like my shit, and I gave this person my thing. Hey, at least you seeing to an audience that that shit worked. Right. You know, you're right. like, it's you're kind like, of like respect. It's no, like you're like, homage. you're like, yo, that means I got good ideas because this motherfucker used the idea and, and it worked. And, and he's a big artist and, and it platinum. blew up. Okay. <laughs> right. You're like, you're like, cool. And you I'm know working what I'm at a record store. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, so like, yeah, I never, never said that before. I've, I've, I, you know, I brought, I brought it up because right. like I'm going back because I remember hearing it later in his later works. I'm like, damn, what? I did that on, I did Word. that on. No, my but that's that's what I'm saying. You and the you could picture yourself in the same creative ballpark. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, because back then I'm I'm up to experimenting. You know I'm like For sure. back then I would get high and just sit there and be like, what could I do that no one's done? Right. <laughs> oh, I'm right. gonna make this fictional character. He's actually gonna narrate through my album, like right. kind of clowning me. You know. You oh, know what's funny? It made me think like, about Tyler the Creator's. Uh, album um the goblin one how he has like the yeah the deep voice therapist that's going throughout but the i did whole that album. 2003 that's what i'm talking but about I'm man right. that that's the thing i did in right. 2003 right. Right. that therapist voice right. but i did that in dojo dynamics 2002 that's 2003 what I, that's man. what i'm saying though people you, but never, you know what i mean i did that back then honestly but no one will know that I, w- I will think like uh when you come up with some shit as soon as it it's like goblin voice as soon as the the uh the thought comes into your head and you say it out loud, it's out there. Like other Wait minds. A minute. Now you're that's some spiritual. You're no, talking some spiritual shit. No, I, I really believe in that. Like wow. So you're saying once the thought is out in the universe, it's out there. No, because it's like everybody's Dude, that's deep. Everybody's mind as a creator. We're connected too. to two. We're, yeah, we're all like you know how like if you think about somebody and then you're like an hour later you're like yo they just text me i was yeah. just talking about yeah, this guy. you yeah, know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. our that's minds so crazy. our minds are powerful like that and it, you know so that's somebody may somebody quantum may physics sick. man it's yeah. quantum physics like it's right like, now fucking dr dre might be somewhere thinking about uh dojo dynamics <laughs> <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's like it. he might he right now you it. never know oh yo you never, never know bro oh, right. he might be looking through a box of old tapes he got or cds and just like chilling trying to get some he's inspiration got my CD for sure i remember 
handing him my CD. That's what I'm saying. You never know, man. The way the the way the universe works, the there's these things that people don't really know about that can't be explained that just happen that aren't coincidences. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, a wave traveling from your mind and shit. It was hard back then too, because I'm a fan of Eminem's too. Yeah, like, yeah. I like his work. For sure. He's a phenomenal lyricist, yeah, yeah. phenomenal artist. Yeah. So I'm like so when it, it, you know, if anyone did it, I'd be like, all right, well, you know. That's what he, I'm saying. He, that's cool. You're like, you know? yo, I'm on that Eminem level it, type no, shit. No, no, you know no, not by any means. No, but, but I'm just at least saying that idea. Like you're like, yo, that oh the wavelength. That, yeah, of the creativity. Wavelength. The, yeah, of creativity. Of crea- the fact that that idea that you hear, heard something mm. in somebody else's album that's big, and you were kind of doing something like that, that means you're on a creative wavelength. I you like know what I'm that. saying? I like you may that. not be him as an artist. No, obviously, no, but not obviously, even close. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, Eminem, he's talking about you, yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get your diss track ready. Yeah. You know hey, what I'm saying? Em, you're always <laughs> welcome on the Stevie Weeby show. But you'd be crazy. Yo, that would be crazy. What if, Emin, what if he actually watches? Yo, that would, you never know because people just be watching YouTube, all kind of shit. I know. Like, yo. But trip out on this. Yo, that would be crazy. Saying, that'd be if you crazy. get Eminem on this show, we're going to manifest that, bro. Yo. Yo, let's get Eminem on this show, man. That would be crazy. That would be that crazy. would be so crazy. If M came to this small if M came and did this show, this and you could tell him that story. No, I, like, I mean, like, why wouldn't yeah. he do this show? I don't see why not. And then he just comes in his pocket with like four G's. Like, here you go. That would be even son. crazy Thanks. if he did. Thanks yeah, word, word, yeah, you word. ain't getting four G's, <laughs> but yeah. If you get him on yeah, here, that's yeah. your four G's right yeah. there. But you know, it's a trip. I think you're on to something because my brother's in the entertainment world. And he said, and it tripped me the fuck, you know, he said something about Howie Mandel watches this shit, my shit. No, of course. And I'm like, what? Oh, man. You, Howie Mandel knows that's about shit. Yo, <laughs> it's like, yo, let me, and like. Yeah, and it like, tripped me out. I'm like, how does he know? In the year 2000, that would be a surprising thing. But in 2020, yeah. I'm not surprised about who listens to and watches what. Because we're, we have access to everything. There's no walls now. You know you're what I'm saying? Right, you're right. You're right. Killer Mike and yeah, LP yeah. can do an album together. You know what's even in 2002, I would have never thought that could happen. Yeah. Oh, you know I what I'm saying? Love their shit. Love so Company it's like, Flow. Love their shit. But that's what I'm saying. Love like, Def you would have never thought Loved Killer Mike would be doing shit. that album with. No, no. That's what but now, but the now walls it, are it, down. It's they like, did it. There's the internet. Yo, yeah. you can just hit. I can just hit DM. Oh, Twitter. Right now, I'll be like, yo, I love your shit. He's like, yo, I and, love your shit. And he'll see it. Yeah, you know, or anybody. Yeah. Anybody. I Even mean, um, when I play, because I've been playing Warzone, you know, on the yeah, uh, Xbox. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't know that. I don't know much about basketball, right? I, I like the Lakers back yeah. when they had uh, Magic and word, uh, word. Byron Scott. And, word, uh, you word. Know, yeah, yeah. I, I followed it then. Of course, know? of course. Utah Jazz versus the Bulls. I right, remember right. that series. <laughs> right, right, I right, right. I remember like that. Jeff Hornacek. Jeff Hornacek. Yeah, 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 I remember throw. Hornacek and Stockton. Right. I remember that. <laughs> but this guy hit me up, and he's a professional um, NBA player. Shout out to Terrence Scott. You know, Whoa, yeah. I, I, just played, I just played with him the other night. See? And we're talking. <laughs> Yo, talking to that's him. what I'm the world. He's in a hotel Dude, somewhere. there's no walls and now. And he's like, yeah, he watches my shit and my brother's podcast. And I'm like, oh. And he was like, You, have, you never know that? how many people probably watch your shit that will never get to tell you they do. Yeah, so he, I'm playing games with him now. And, and then I looked at his, I'm like, who is this guy? Because he had the check mark. And then I'm like, okay, he's. Okay, he's by, he's up by the side. Okay, he's on a basketball. Oh, I looked into it and he's like Duncan. No, nah, that's crazy. And like, I'm like, you know who he is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, What's yeah. crazy is you just yeah. made me think about this. I was looking at um, you got a picture of Bobby Lee over here. That's my right? brother. Like your blood brother? Yeah. Don't. No, that's your blood brother. Yeah, that's my Bobby older Lee? brother. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <sighs> Yo, that's crazy. Cause I was just gonna say, like, uh, you know, I come from stand up world yeah, too. Yeah, okay. Uh, like when I was like sixteen, I, you know, I go to the comedy store. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, um, Bobby Lee was the um, host, and he used to be like, I, I wasn't allowed. To, I was too young to go in. Mm-hmm. So they used to be like, he would be like, no, nah, no, nah, he's cool. Let him come in, do his set, and then go back out. Oh, is it the so, the um the raffle where you yeah, play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when yeah, I was yeah. like young back in the day, oh, he was real cool. Sunday nights or Monday nights or he, something. Yeah, uh, yeah. And yeah, I, yeah, it's yeah, funny because yeah. I remember like uh, you know, I could do like uh, impressions and shit mm-hmm. too. I remember back then. I, I always think about this because it's so random that he said he was like, man, he's like, man, you could do people like that, like that's cool. He was like, he's like, you should do somebody like that. Nobody really does like like uh, Deroy Lindo. 
Oh, my brother said that? Yeah, and oh. I always think about that. So when I think about Delroy Lindo, I yeah, think yeah. about him saying that. That's crazy. And now it'd probably really be a good like yeah. a, impression to do because like he's more famous now. Yeah, that's Delroy Lindo. That's crazy. <laughs> what a small world. No, yeah. no, that's crazy I that you said that. I didn't know that. that yeah. You did stand up? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, you did the open mics? All that shit. Oh, I used okay. to I used to be um I used to be a regular at Laugh Factory because oh, that's where uh, that was like my main spot. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. I, when I was 16, I was performing at night for that's adults. Crazy. You know, after school, I would go there and then, you know, not nah, my my story is crazy. <laughs> when crazy. I think of, you know, when I think about it, like for, a, you know, it's a crazy L.A. story. Yeah, I yeah. did. I did open mics for like six months. Yeah. I did Marty's. And, oh, 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 you. Uh, oh, yeah, rock, yeah. paper, scissors. Uh, recently. Not, not, not. No, like, yeah, re- like, yeah, yeah. Because like, yeah, yeah, Marty's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 right. you, yeah Marty, you pay five bucks. Yeah, Marty's. No the wor- one would watch The workout set. spot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you yeah. know about no, Marty. I know about Marty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He'd be like ignoring your set, nah, playing the keyboard. Yeah, exactly. You know, you honestly like when it comes to the open my game and shit it's like it's not there's really no about love. there's it, no love with no but it's, it's it, no it's not even about the love it's yeah. not even about no one listening to your shit it's about you, you doing getting it. your ideas out, out clearly there. yeah it doesn't yeah. matter if any i don't care if no one's there you know what I'm saying? Right, if right. I got the mic and the stage, you're, you you're don't have just, a mic and the stage at home. You can't no. be at home like yelling, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't be doing that I shit at home. I remember even at Marty's, you know how he had, uh, there's different rooms in yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, He had this other smaller room. Yeah, yeah. Where we, okay, so. It's like, it's like this close. Yeah, it was that close. It's like, it's like, <laughs> and then we set up the PA and then I go, oh, hey, two of you come in here. Right. And then I would just kind of do my thing in right. front of like two people right. but I'm like at least I'm like working it sometimes out sometimes you just need to talk some shit on yeah. a mic yeah you know what I'm saying yeah, like yeah. A lot, that's why a lot of times in the uh, comedy scene it might be some crazy like homeless guy or bum who's kind of like got some mental issues right yeah and yeah. you'll see them all the time yeah, you know, and, yeah yeah and then you don't know what they're talking about sometimes they're just doing crazy they're not trying to blow up no they just, just they need this they need they to need an opportunity to be able to talk to some people right, that's listening right, right. or eat, at least in the room man that's a good that's a good um yeah, angle man. right there i never thought of it that nah, way. for real yeah, sometimes yeah, you just yeah, gotta yeah, talk yeah. some shit like i need to just get this shit out like yeah I'm really curious, like, how what's the comedy game going to be like because it is, you know, the quarantine and all this shit. Yeah, that world's crazy. No, nah, because I've been definitely thinking about a lot of shit that just cracks me up. I'm like, I need to tell you some jokes. You know, damn a lot jokes. of them, a lot of these podcasters and, like, I think I heard Rogan and um, Joey Diz and those cats, they're, like, moving out of state or something. Uh, They live here? They live in L.A. Oh, okay. and they're Are like, they moving because no stand-up? It has to do with that too. Oh, because like other places down. are still doing. Yeah, because you could podcast anywhere in the world. No, where? You know what I mean? Word so up. they're like, well, why am I paying eight billion dollars a month to live here? Right. When I could live in Oklahoma or Texas if or you, something. you if you came here just you know you having the opportunity and being yeah. around all this shit, yeah, I guess there's no point. You know, what yeah, there's no point. And plus that. I mean, especially with Rogan, he just he got that Spotify deal. Yeah, he deal. seemed like he just in a chilling, just in a like a whole other planet. When I watch his show, it's like, where the fuck is he at? Oh, he, <laughs> it uh, don't seem like he in no state or city or country. He He's just lives, in a I'm out, just in a space. He somewhere. probably lives way out somewhere in a yeah. nice house. And oh yeah, got like flotation. Tanks it's crazy. Yeah, I, never, I didn't even know you did comedy. I was watching Fear Factor back in the oh, day. Oh no, no, I didn't that guy's that. been doing. He's been doing it since he was a ke- like teenager crazy. Like, out of Boston or crazy. something. Yeah, he's been doing it. I did not know that about your your story. That's crazy. Shit, man, I didn't know about your story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I don't. Right. I don't like. You know, I you don't. Know, I thought you was like, like that's that. my brother. Like, you know, that's my brother. No, that's your blood that's brother. That's my blood brother. Yeah, no, that's yeah. crazy. Your brother's in entertainment. Yeah, you trying to be yeah. low key, Bobby Lee. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. dope, man. He's such a cool guy. Just yeah, like, I mean, not only that, people, I want to put this, he's helped other comedians. No, man, way, you ain't even got to tell me. Yeah, yeah, just me yeah, saying yeah, he's a yeah, cool yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to say he's a cool guy. He's a, a, a great human being. Yeah. He, yeah, that's he, what I'm going to say. Yeah, he's helped people. Yeah. Yeah, it it's just a, It's a weird world in that world because of uh, just the, you know, because they, they're not doing mics. They're, you can't do comedy like no, you a can't. Zoom. You could do a music thing. You could so do that. Music. I, you see J. Rue do his thing? Yeah, I did. Yeah, he had his J. Rue yeah, socks. Yeah, 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 actually, yeah, yeah. Well, I actually ordered some of them socks. He, but yeah. he was sitting yeah. down and he yeah, was, yeah, 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 yeah. I like exactly. that. Yeah. So like musicians, they're fine. You mm-hmm, could do mm-hmm. you know viral stuff, but like, I mean, the comedy thing is kind of like unless audience. you're like on some Dave Chappelle level shit because he can he throws a thing in his backyard yeah. and has it you know distanced and you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Andy Kaufman, rest in peace. If he was still alive, he could probably get away. Yo, with he that, would probably know. be doing some COVID Do pup- pranks, puppet shows. No, he yeah, probably yeah, would have yeah, just yeah. like died from COVID for yeah. fake. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And we're like, oh, he's dead, and then he's oh, like, not. Nah. <laughs> Yo, that reminds me. One time I seen Tony
and oh, like yeah. like down the street like some years ago um I'm a and fan. it yeah and i was I'm like i was like yo <laughs> like i was oh, like he honk the, down. He, he no had, it was tony clifton he like had i'm the like suit on yeah the, i was like honk the, the horn i was yeah. like yo yeah and this is you know what i'm saying this is like it was probably like after i had just seen the movie uh you know the jim carrey yeah, one yeah so i was like I yo was, like yeah, i was yeah. freaked out hey like, that's one of my favorite movies no nah, that's good movie. i own that somewhere in the closet that's yeah. a great freaking movie yo dude. so good yeah <laughs> shout out to danny devito too man, man. You know, he's in that yo, uh, this... uh, we got off topic I, i'm glad that we got off topic i didn't realize no i mean we ain't no topic yeah um <laughs> i want to get to okay to because you're on stone's throw now yeah yes hey dude or hey, respect respect on that that's yeah. great that's great respect. when i saw that that to me when i when i saw you as an artist i'm like there's that hidden seal like you just see, you know, there's a seal Word. that got put on it. No, I'm shout like, out to oh, my man oh. Wolf, man. Shout out to Peanut Butter Wolf yeah. and um, Doom and Mad Lib, all oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I'm a fan of all that. For sure. So I think that, especially hearing your story, oh, that makes sense as far as a label for you. Word. I think it fits. No, I mean, like, I came up when I was in high school. I was mm -hmm. listening to Stone's Throw. Yeah. When I started doing my tapes, whenever I see Wolf. I give him a tape. He'd be mm -hmm. like, yo, I don't got no tape player yeah. in my car, but all right. He's, then, he's approachable, isn't he? Yeah, I yeah. mean, like, you know what I'm saying? If if he, you know, he's like anybody else, though. Like, if you want to, you know. If you want to. Sometimes it's like awkward situation. You got to know not to know not to approach people at certain times. Okay, you know so I'm glad you brought that up because my girl used to, my girlfriend uh, used to work at Paquetto. Okay, had, uh, what's that? It's a, st a store in uh, Little Tokyo. They okay. sell, like, stationery stuff. Oh, okay, where? I know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They had, yeah. like, that Asian yeah, kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, but I saw Wolf there, and I'm like, uh, should I? But he was, you know, mingling with other people. Right. So um, I decided not to. Man, sometimes, uh, you know. I just, uh, you know. Hey, sometimes, you know. I didn't. You know, just you just got to pop that guru. She, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just be yeah. like, hey, yo, I fuck with you, bro. Yeah, Boom, yeah, right, 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 right. That's it. Sometimes, sometimes a simple moment of just giving somebody a pound and saying, what's up? There's people that did that to me, and I see him around somewhere, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I remember oh, you. I, I remember met you. you. I yeah, was at the yeah, thing, and yeah. I met you. What's up, bro?" And yeah. he's like, "He's like, yo, man, I, I do music." I was like, "Oh, word, let me let me check some shit out." You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. You never know. A simple just, "What up?" I know that's you, yeah. and I fuck that with you. That recognition, respect. Yeah. 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 Um, how did you link up with Stone's Throw? Uh, basically through Wolf. Like I was always bumping into him. Like I see and him. And you had your stuff on you. I will always have tapes on me. Okay, like, so let's let's tell a younger artist. Wherever you go, whenever you go out in public, always have. I mean, honestly, you know I, mean? I can't tell a younger artists to have tapes on them because I don't know if that's everybody. Because <laughs> <laughs> honestly, no, that. it's like cool now. But like when I was doing it, it's like everybody was looking at me like, why you got tapes? Like, what are you, yeah. what are you doing? But I was like fine with it. Like, yo, here you go. Even if you don't listen to it. Yeah, it, yeah, you know, yeah. A successful uh, thing to me. Here, you got my tape, you know. But uh. I would say nowadays it's kind of different, you know, because because there's social media, it's like more popping now. Like, so yeah, have your business like, card ready or something like that. Yeah, so, it's kind of like nowadays. I feel like you gotta just do your thing. Just mm -hmm. keep doing your thing, and if you see somebody around, just say, "Hey, what up." Yo, I fuck with you. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like everybody's a goddamn artist now. Everyone. So especially it's like now. So it's like of, nobody really. This. Yeah, especially like if you're somebody, you know, you yeah. don't really want to be approached by people all day saying, "Yo, I got music. I got music." Yeah, it's like, yeah. yeah. So what? Everybody does. Mm -hmm. So if you sometimes there's a simple acknowledgement, like, "Yo, I fuck with you, bro. Yeah. Damn, all I love all your shit. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. That might be it. Mm -hmm. And just keep doing your thing. I hear you know you. what I'm saying? It's you. like. It's always going to be a breakthrough when you keep doing your thing, mm -hmm. whatever that is, playing tennis, whatever the fuck, and, and just and being honest with yourself mm -hmm. and, and not being dirty, like, you know, not being shady and weird and shit. Yeah, you yeah, may yeah. come up those ways, but in the long run, it's going to fuck up your DNA. That's bad karma, dude. No, nah, it's going to fuck your whole yeah, DNA yeah, up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because, like, even if you get on, the things that you did are going to, like, come back around yeah. in ways you don't even know. You might get an infection in your fucking foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'd it's be like, well, I got this foot infection. Yeah, remember Five 10 years, years ago? Yeah, when you fucking, ago, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So just, you know, stay true. Be honest. You know what I'm saying? And um, 
and just keep doing your thing and don't be salty. Nobody owes you shit. Yeah. You just got to keep doing your thing and, and, and um, having fun with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Being I a good you. person. That's it. So, okay. So you gave Wolf, you kept seeing him. I kept seeing him, give him tapes. And then, then he hit you then, up. And then he's like, yo, he's like, you know, get my email. So then I, then I would start emailing him. I saw him at, um, there used to be this movie place called Cine Family. It's not yeah, there anymore. Yeah, it was yeah, on yeah. Fairfax. Yeah. One day I went there and he was coming out from mm-hmm. a movie and I was like, oh, what up? And I had already been seeing him around. He's like, yeah. oh, he's probably like this dude. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, he gave me a card. His email, email me. Started emailing. One day, then he said, yo, come to the fucking office. Then I come out there. I hung out at the office, you know, play some music. We yeah. just kicked it, talked about music and, you know. So you had no expectation. You didn't have that energy like, hey, hook me up, hook me up. No, nah, not, hey, hey, not a hook hey, me hey. up. But definitely I was like, I was like, yo, I'm the nigga right now. Yeah, I'm right, like, right. I was right. like, you may not know, but. Yo, let's get this. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm cut from the cloth. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So I had that energy, of course. But the main thing I'm getting out of it is you showed up. For sure. Yeah. You showed up. Yeah. No expectations. When it's time, when it's time to show up, you gotta be show ready. Up. It's like, you know, time is really the thing that's important. It may not be your time yet. Yeah. And it's like everything's preparing. You know what that's I'm saying? That's so vital. You know, like yeah, when you yeah. um. Okay, you want something, right? And everybody wants something, right? Mm. But when you want something, things got to shift. So you got to be in a position that you may not really like because somebody else in the world wanted some shit. So they got to, it's like a fucking uh, Rubik's Cube. Right. You know, the colors got to be in different places. It got to be in formation. Until they get all, you know, lined up for you. So, all right, you might have lost your job and you're fucked, but somebody might have needed that job you got. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you losing a job. You gained something else. You got maybe an opportunity. You are in a store that you wouldn't have been in because you're not working that day and you ran into such and such. Yeah. Dude, it's like, it's so crazy. So whatever you say in the back of your mind, you want that and you keep that in the back of your mind and you keep that going. Um, the universe is going to give it to you. The universe you know, wants to give you I, your you shit. You know what? I, the thing about you, the common thread, which I love throughout this whole interview is like you, you talk a lot about the universe and, yeah. the, you know, putting stuff out there and having it reciprocate back and. I I don't I don't know you that well, but I'm guessing that you, do you read like spiritual like you? I mean, you or, know, there's some ones I read. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. you know, it's funny when um, there's this book um, that I came up with, which I didn't really know what it was when I was a kid. So I got a bunch of Peter Max drawings. He's yeah. like a uh, illustrator mm-hmm, painter mm-hmm. from like back in the day. He was big in the 70s. Yeah. And my mom had this book. It's called Thought, and mm-hmm. it had um, some words from Swami Sachi Danada. Just these words printed really big for mm-hmm. like almost like a kid mm-hmm. and it would have pictures in it too and you know i came up reading that book i think my mom stole it from the library it still had the due date thing in there mm-hmm. and uh i would just look at it it was a cool book you know but as i got older i started to understand a lot of the things that were in there like mm-hmm. and think about the phrases and the terms of like okay well what you put out you know what i'm saying it's like a wave and it, it's gonna come back it can crash on you and you know and I just grew up huh. being into people like deep motherfuckers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And my yeah, pops yeah. is my pops is mad spiritual. Yeah, and deep I could too. tell. Yeah, yeah. He's he's all about the biblical math. Yeah, oh, he's all right. Oh, any he's, any number things. My dad Jumatri, was, all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah. not he's not surprised when things happen because he goes like I you know if I talk about something like yo this is crazy right now he was like yo you know this adds this and this plus this he's yeah. like I knew this was gonna happen there's something to that man yeah you know, so it's like it's yeah. kind of like you know I just kind of like grew up with it not really like knowing it's a thing yeah you but know there's and stuff to astrology people don't realize nah too. that's like, just big like even the way people study the stars you yeah. know what I mean like um Nostradamus yeah you know I mean? there's a reason why cats like that they knew what was about to pop up nah, man because um, they study the stars you know yeah it was, actually it was a um uh, Black Moon started yesterday too, mm-hmm. and there's a whole bunch of crazy energy going on with that. If you into that, you know, into I'm into the group shit. too. Yeah, I'm into the group. You know Shout saying? out to Buckshot like, Shorty. I'm into, yeah, the, yeah. I'm into the group. You know what I'm saying? If you into well. all this, yeah, I'm you know, there's like you being, being connected with Universal Love shit. Black you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Love it. Love it. <laughs> if you into the, yeah. so it's like yeah, it's like it's all it's all energy, bro. Yeah. It's, it's that's all that's it is. Beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I mean you doing something right as far as just putting good energy out there wouldn't you say word as well you know it's crazy um i just thought about this too and i was like i was like yo is this my man who um um be rocking out with david cho that's me yeah yeah and that's and i was like yeah yeah and that's how i got in the 
the band with them. Oh, okay. Trip out on this. This is going back to what you're I saying. I knew that was you, right? So I was, uh, you know, my we're driving to Koreatown to eat to, to get some barbecue, and it was at around this time, and my brother, his phone goes off, and he goes, God, fuck. I go, what? <laughs> he goes, I, man, I, can you can we postpone this? I go, dude, well, I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. He goes, just come to this thing with me. I promise, my friend, I'm going to do his podcast. Back then, I didn't know what the fuck a podcast right, was, dog. Your, yeah, I was like, right. what the hell? What <laughs> right. are you, what? Right. I go, all right, all right. You know, and I, I have to admit, I had a pretty crappy attitude. I'm, all yeah, right. right, right. I was a fan of Dave. Right. His art is unbelievable. Right, right. So, okay, so we drive, then he you turn right, from wherever, uh, Olympic or whatever, and then we get on the freeway, downtown we go to this warehouse yeah so i we pull up and i'm like all right how long is this gonna take man he's like don't worry just come in dude come in right and i'm like all right we go in they have the whole the whole shit set up you know yeah. the mics yeah, and everything, yeah, yeah. the soundboard the whole thing so i'm like okay so what i did i did what you said i didn't you know i didn't like i wasn't like you know kiss you know i said respect i go hey man i'm a fan i'm just gonna post up over here right. you guys do your thing right right all right i actually physically took a chair you know one of these fold out yeah, chairs yeah. put it on the other side of the room <laughs> let them do their shit you right playing mad yeah, low I, was, key. I was just right. like yeah. you guys do your shit i'm yeah. just i'm his little brother you know you do your thing there yeah. i'm just here just to support yeah literally i think not even 10 minutes in dave goes hey have your brother sit in Asa's seat or something, you know what I mean? Because she was gone that right, day. Right, right. So I go, oh, all right. Right. I didn't know what a podcast was. Right. Keep in mind, Mike is in front of me. Right. And they just, I was podcasting. Right, right. So I was just happy wow. to be there, right? That's crazy. And trip out. And by, by this time, I had given up on music completely. I dropped my final EP um, that I self-produced. Put it up on iTunes. I quit Amoeba. I was working at um, a sandwich shop right around the corner of Fat Sal's. I was I was wow. bagging meat wow. and washing dishes wow. and making shakes. Wow. I was that dude, you know, hard at working, hard sweating, yeah. you know. <laughs> so I'm just I'm there and then trip out. So through that, he kept inviting me again. Then it, then I came back again. Then I came back again. By like the fifth or sixth or seventh time, out of nowhere he goes. Hey, do you guys want to record music? And I go, and and, and and trip out. You know how much of a Beastie Boys fan I am. I didn't. Money Mark was there the whole time. Wow. I thought he was a beat junkie. I felt dumb. I thought he was a beat junkie at first. Right. I'm like, Money Mark is that? Be then then later I'm like, oh shit, he's a part of the Beastie Boys. So I was tripping on that hard. And so Money Mark was there, and then I go, oh, yeah, okay. Right, right. And so from that, we got a spot. We rented a big cabin, like, you know, like a whole fucking camp fire cabin with different, uh, you know, yeah, like a huge yeah, yeah. facility cabin, yeah. different bunkers in Big Bear. And we recorded, um, and it turned out to be this, um, this record. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's you know, just there's crazy. a rap in it, punk, country, you know, just, you know. Yo, it's crazy because, like. Um, so we did this there, and then he, he I remember they, they pulled me to the side, like, Steve, I know you come from, like, the underground, four track, you know, rap background, but you got to be open to doing other types of music. Word, and word. I'm, and they're like, you got to be open to screaming, so we got some punk joints on there, you know what yeah. I mean? So I'm like, oh. Open I'm, to screaming? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll scream. I'll scream, I'll yeah. scream. Yeah, so we, you know, <laughs> we, we did that, yeah. and then. And then later, we're like on tour with Kid Koala. We opened up for Deltron, opened up for Diane. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yo, and you're going to see the. You know, but this is going back to what you're saying. Exactly, bro. It's like the universe I, shit. It's like that wasn't out of nowhere. I gave up, dog. Your brother took you to the thing. By you accident. By accident. David Cho, he's like, yo, I like this motherfucker. Yeah, he just picked yeah, up yeah. He picked up an energy wave and he was like, I like this motherfucker. You want you to come get on the mic? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you end up fucking. And I and that and also I was like when you hit me I was like I was like, yo is this and I've been looking at those videos like yeah I, yeah, I, you know, I yeah, follow yeah, David Cho yeah. and, and I was like fuck I was like yo this motherfucker is crazy yeah you yeah know, I was like, always seeing crazy. the crazy shit uh, he be doing just yeah. like getting butt naked yeah. throwing, jumping in mud <laughs> yeah, and just yeah, like yeah, yeah. like he he's oh, the yeah. original uh, fucking uh, Eric Andre yeah, <laughs> yeah it was, you know what I'm saying so like 
Yo, that's crazy. That's that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. that universe shit I'm talking about. Yeah, you was so, done, and you would just end up being in a band, like being a band touring on a tour bus, East some Coast, some whole tour, other thing Canada. you would have never imagined. No, and then not only that, they put out they put out my solo album on, on Wax too. Wow. So um during that time period period I did this album, and then they go, well, why don't you just because I was kind of messing with like writing again and i'm like well i'm working on like just my own rap shit and yeah like, i'll put it out once you finish it whoa and then let me do the cover whoa and hey who who do you want to how do you want your album you know and then so they 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 press that up as well and we saw what label is that on what's just this? his DVD, dvd asa just okay. his own thing Word. the podcast That's what's put up. it out the podcast put it out so Yo. basically his label but That's what's up, the man. podcast so this is that's so crazy you said that because it's like yeah that happened to me where i was like i told the universe i'm done with this and i literally started working in a sandwich shop right and i was like all right i'm, I'm done right I worked, you know, other jobs and then and you know what's so weird about that is in my small mind, there's I couldn't have imagined it like the resurgence of it presenting music like that in this way. You're going to meet Dave Cho through that. You're going to meet Money Mark and then you're going to do this. You're going to meet all these other cool people. Then you're going to record this album and yeah. then you're going to you know what I'm saying? Like oh, that's some shit, man. Yeah, that, that's I mean. And like after that, you could probably realize to yourself that like. Yo, there's something going on here. Yeah. Like there's like a thing that's beyond myself. You know what I'm saying? It's just a that's just a wave thing. And people pick up on them waves just like catching a fucking baseball in the mitt. You know yeah, what I'm saying? They're yeah. like, oh, I like this. And mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and people that's how people connect, you know? Yeah, that's crazy. That's dope, man. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, I mean, man. I I don't I've shared that before, but you asked, and I'm like, and, and it's relevant to the uh the topic that we've yeah. talked about. Um Cause we're run, I, I wanna we're running kind of out of time, but I wanna Word. I wanna get back on your music as For far sure. as um, what you have out there, yeah. Um, a website, uh, um, future uh, releases, and all that good stuff. Uh, well, my album is out right now. It's only been out for a month. Mm -hmm. Came out Juneteenth. What's it's it called? called? Called Little Dominique's Nosebleed. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, 16 tracks. It's like a fucking movie mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. based on my personal experiences. Um, I had these car accidents when I was a kid. I was just going to say that. It yeah. says I, you had two car accidents that almost took your life. And then, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it was yeah. like, you know, basically I had this uh, broken blood vessel in my nose off the first one. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was just constant bleeding, constant hospital visits. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. All this kind of crazy shit. And then uh, one where I was like hit uh, by a car. And um, it, I guess the guy tried to back up to see if I was okay. And he broke my leg. Mm -hmm. You know, because my like, leg was in between the tire and That's the car. That's crazy. Yeah. So like, um, and I just remember like in that moment specifically like laying there and um, like having this sort of like euphoric feeling. Like, Whoa. like it wasn't like painful. It was like, and all the kids from the neighborhood were outside because mm -hmm, it was like mm -hmm. the ice cream truck. Was yeah, there, yeah, yeah, and so, yeah. And so everybody was seeing me and I'm just like there and it's like I'm looking up at people and I'm just like hearing, you know, what, you know, I thought to be at the time like a fucking like God talking to me. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. Saying? That's crazy. And so like um, that's, so you get messages. Yeah. So that's kind of like basically it's is talking about the um, the spiritual awareness and just how the universe is connected to me and things. And from how, from that moment, whether I knew it or not, it was just like, that's how I moved right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, in right. life and towards things, you know? So, um, yeah, I did all the production as well. It's Good. Not, I was just going to ask. Yeah. You self-produced it? Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. And then is that on Stone's Throw? It's on Stone's Throw Records. How do people listening, how do they purchase your um, album directly? How do they support you directly? Directly? Uh, I mean, honestly, you could go buy the vinyl. There's probably like 60 of them left. Um, people, Please do that, guys. Yeah. And I mean, other than purchasing, you know, just go listen to the album. You know, mm -hmm. you can go on any of these streaming services. Just listening to it mm -hmm. is, I think, good enough, even if you can't purchase it, you know? And that's Koreatown Oddity. Koreatown Oddity, yeah. man. And once you listen to this album, you can go back and listen to other things, and I think you'll actually understand more of the other stuff because this is gives you such a full spectrum of who I am and what I put into yeah. the universe. Uh, what inspired you? Is there is there is it like a concept album or is yes. it, it's a, all autobiographical? My, all my albums are concept albums. So it's like that's the only way I, I make could, an album. I hear that. Yeah. I hear that. And it's like this one may be more conceptual to people yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's like 
like obvious, you know, mm-hmm. that all oh, okay, so she's telling this story, you know. The story, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the only way I like to make. I make full albums. I don't just make a bunch of songs and put them together, you know. It's you like, have all concept behind it for sure. Yeah, I, I need to. I need to know um, how the album's gonna start, how the album's gonna end, and when I listen to it, it gotta. I gotta be able to listen to it all the way through and be like, "Yep, that's, cool. that's it." Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, like having a single here and there is cool yeah. for the now time, but like 50, 60 years. People are gonna want to listen to whole projects, like how you read a book. Yeah, I you know was just gonna saying? say it's like a book. It's yeah. like this is that book. For yeah, that time here's the all people want to co- collect yeah. these just like books. That's how I, I, I'm thinking of it. I want people to experience my shit like a dope book or movie. It's even you know? cooler. I think Stones Throw is even a perfect fit because the way they Word. put out releases. I remember working at Amoeba, and then I was I came across the Charisma Peanut Butter yeah. Wolf album, and I'm like. And the way it was laid out, it was yeah. like a double yep. CD. And yep. I'm like, oh, the, uh, you know, I, mean, I remember listening to Methods for the first time. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh, I like this song. Yeah. It, it, it's like more of a, I got more out of it. No, nah, they, they let me yeah. do my thing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, you know, if they fucking with you, they just like, yo, go ahead. So they're, they're open to your creative freedom. They don't want to. Yeah, nobody came in and said, hey, man, you can't do this. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, I did the right. album, worked on it, played it like, all right, bet. Showed them the cover. They are, all right, bet. And, and that's there it. we go. You and know what I'm saying? And then they just press it up. And then we set the date. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and there it is. And are there future uh, projects in the work um, after? Like, are you uh, working on more material right now? You know, there is. I do a Chinese New Year's uh, instrumental series that's every year. Yeah, yeah, I started yeah, yeah. it in uh, about like 2013 with mm-hmm. The Dragon. Mm-hmm. And I'm. it's going to finish in 2024. So mm-hmm. each year... When the animal ends, mm-hmm. I put out uh, a tape for that animal and the energy around that. That's a that. great idea. What so, made you think of that? I like that. You know what? I've been just going to uh, the temple like oh. in Chinatown for like a long time. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. like somebody, I remember I was this label asked me if I want to do a project and I was like, oh, you know what? And I, I was like, oh, it'd be dope to do something like inspired by that because yeah, yeah. i always go for the celebration on new year's chinese new year's eve yeah, and, you yeah, know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, yeah. and get the blessings from the gods and mm-hmm, you know all that type mm-hmm. of shit and so um yeah i started a series and that's like an ongoing thing i love that and keep that up yeah for keep sure that up. it'll be that's to a great idea 2024 you could do them and you, you could keep doing yeah it, i mean it'll finish in 2024 because it'll be 12 all oh, right you know? right and that'll be uh, that's that'll still be some it. work ahead of you. oh yeah, yeah for yeah, sure yeah, we yeah. you know and so that's one thing i do um that's an annual thing mm-hmm. and uh but other than that there'll, there'll be albums in the future but other sure. i don't really have nothing it's like i kind of like cook as i go i hear like you. i'm not like yo i got 12 albums yeah, done already yeah, i'm no, not that's not my really my style it yeah it's yeah, more yeah, especially yeah. like to getting inspired yeah you know, because yeah. like especially with raps for me like if i do a rap like if it's a feature or something like mm-hmm. that it's like yo i'm giving a piece of myself like in this rap and too so i don't waste it you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I feel the same way. You know it's what I'm saying? It's a piece like, of you. Bro. No, it's word. It's like it's not like if I was just rapping about any old bullshit, doing verses for anybody in no. any time would be cool. No, you it's know like art to you. It's no nah, word. A reflection of you. No, it's special. If yeah, I'm given a verse, it's for a reason. Yeah, and I like it's that. to do. You're like, man, it's like. You're conjuring out here, like no, you're, yeah, the words. Your words powerful. You know what I'm nah, saying? No, man. Like, my dad always words, tell me, yeah. man, uh, you got life and death on your tongue. You know what I'm saying? So whatever you putting out there you know what i'm saying yeah. like you 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 gonna receive that shit yeah yeah <laughs> so, you know what i'm saying yeah, so, but that could be positive too if you're yeah putting out goodness, if you're putting out positive things then like that, for example i had an album um called 200 tree rings yeah and that's on stone's throw also no that was oh. um on a label called new los angeles how do people get a hold of that uh you can get a hold of that because you <laughs> yeah, ain't no more vinyl okay, for that okay, but okay. it's like 2014 okay, okay, okay. but you can listen to it all yeah. my music available to listen to on streaming and shit like do that. do you have like all of those b-side or like your other releases on a band camp or anything oh yeah or? yeah um okay what's that yeah Let's, um, my band camp is Koreatown Oddity. Okay, so and they, I mean, I'm those. on Spotify. I'm on Spotify. So go to his band camp as well. Yeah, you know, um, also, I, you know, I did an album with uh, Ross G, rest mm-hmm, in peace. Mm-hmm. Um, Five Chuckles. I did mm-hmm. an album with my man, uh, Mind Design, called Vivians, based off the Fresh Prince mm-hmm. um, TV show and the two Vivians they had on there as aunts. Um, so, I, you know, there's a lot of music out there. I love my, that. I my, love that. My catalog is kind of yeah. like all over all like over, that yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. but it's it's not a waste you mm, know what i'm saying when I you when you. you listen to it you 
will get some shit from it. I love that. And man. Uh, love so that. Th- you know, when I whenever I want to deliver an album that has vocals and shit on it. Um, I definitely don't want to waste nobody's time. Exactly. You know what I mean? Especially yours. You know? Nah, I, for they, real. That's mine. time investment. Yeah, no you know doubt. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I want to, did you, what's your Instagram as well? Like, uh, my yeah, Instagram is Twitter. pretty simple. K-Town Odd. K-Town O-D-D. K-T-O. K-T-O-W-N-O-D-D. O-D-D. Yep. And then a website. I don't no website. Miss, I don't want to miss anything. No, nah, no website. But if you go to Instagram, mm-hmm. you're going to be able to find anything from there and then can we shout out the stones throw website as well oh yeah stones throw.com you so, could go in there and find my shit on yeah, there as well yeah 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 man some uh, you know there's so such diverse artists are on that label as well no word i saw something on youtube uh some doc mini documentary on their studios oh you know? yeah I thought it was cool i yeah, thought it was man. cool though yeah man the way y'all work and like the whole yeah. collective you know yeah no word yeah, yeah, word yeah, up yeah, yeah. yeah it looks like like you want to be in there <laughs> for sure yeah no, they say they yeah. got a really nice facility yeah. for sure yeah. for sure so um and then after uh, i'll talk to you after about Word. like um as far as other artists you you would think would be a good fit for the oh show. yeah oh i got you yeah, yeah, i got yeah, you yeah, yeah. yeah um so hey man oh respect the best of luck to you respect um support koreatown oddity on all platforms um especially the music um follow him and yeah just support everything Word. he's doing and definitely tune into all of his future projects as well. Word up, yeah. man. Hey, thank you for having yeah, me, yeah. man. You're yeah. welcome anytime. Anytime. Yeah, man. All you guys are. Anyone who's been on here, that's just, you're always welcome. Oh, we're we so going to do your next album. Oh, we're going to do it again. Me, we want to, we want to yeah, wait, yeah, wait that long. And then I'll be like, okay, let's, let's talk about it. Nah, we ain't got to wait that long. And that goes to everyone yeah. out there who's been on here. Word. Yeah. Word. Um, so, um, we have a website attached to the show called StevieWeebyShow.com. You can get a shirt if you want. Um, keep in mind, since the COVID and quarantine's going on, it, it's taking, there's a delay on shipping, all right? I'm just letting y'all know, but I check it every day. Um, I ha- even have a manual where I I check it like that. Right. I, 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 I check it like, <laughs> Old yeah, school. Dil- diligently, right. yeah. <laughs> um, Patreon.com, um, become a patron if you want to, you know, help support the platform and, Help us go in here, okay? The newest patrons this week are Mehole Evans, Jordan Bernstein, uh, Jill Reyes, and my man Kurt Corn Foing Fu. Um, we're working on, we're still working on the music video, the pod in which we travel. Um, I'm gonna leave for a camping trip for a few days, but as soon as I get back, we're gonna film, okay? So we're definitely on it. Um, uh, Instagram for this show is attached to Instagram slash Q U A N G O U Kwang U. Uh, you can check out my Bandcamp if you want, StevieWeebyBandcamp.com. All my music's on that. Um, if you want to send packages uh, or anything or letters, send all your stuff to 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California 90093. Um, I'm sorry about the Little Rays world. There's no, uh, I'm going to get back on it, guys. There's no Little Rays world for this week, but um, cause I've been trying to plan for my four year anniversary. Uh, it's been taking a lot out of me just planning and gathering all these sleeping bags and all these, uh, um, uh, things that I need. But, uh, I guarantee you little Ray, uh, and beep are fine and they're going to be coming back to you very soon. Dude, shout out to Yo. you. I'm really happy for your music and your releases. Yo man. Thank you, man. It's, I'm, it's I'm, a good I'm, thing. I'm proud of you. It's bro. a good thing. Yeah, yeah. All right. With that being said, we're out. Oh.